Welcome back. Well, I think that the parade fell on the most perfect day as today is a lot more chilly than it was yesterday. Checking in with first meteorologist Tiffany Savona. Tiffany, it's that wind that's going to make it kind of bad today. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it was windy yesterday, Felicia, but at least we had temperatures around 60 degrees while the parade was happening today a totally different story so we really lucked out this year with the parade having some pretty nice weather despite that wind of course because today we are not going to move much temperature wise from where we are right now we're at 38 degrees in south bend those clouds really moving in from the north becoming overcast now 38 degrees in st joseph 35 Michigan City and 33 degrees in Elkhart. So we have those clouds moving in off of the lake. And I do want to show you our temperatures over the past six hours because we did hit 40 degrees just after midnight. So that will be our high temperature for the day. But ever since, temperatures have been dropping behind that front. Right now we're at 38, but will likely hold steady in the mid and upper 30s all day long. So don't expect to warm up today whatsoever. Now our winds are coming off the lake behind that front out of the west and northwest, anywhere from 6 to about 13 miles per hour, but these will increase throughout the day. We could see gusts as high as 25, not nearly as high as those 40, 45 mile per hour gusts we saw yesterday. This is how it feels like right now. So these are the feels like temperatures or the wind chills, whatever you want to call it. It feels like 30 degrees in South Bend, feels like 31 in Plymouth, 31 LaGrange, and 28 degrees in LaPorte. So you will need that heavy winter coat as you're heading out this morning, whether you're going to grab breakfast or if you're going to those early morning church services. Notice our satellite and radar picking up on a little bit of flurry action out there from St. Joseph over to Cassopolis and South Bend. Nothing more than that, but don't be surprised if you walk out the door and you see a few lake effect snow flurries flying out there. Winter not done just yet, even though spring starts on Tuesday. It's certainly not going to feel like spring this week. Here's the play-by-play, -play, hour by hour. We're looking at mostly cloudy skies today. A few lake effect snow flurries likely on and off throughout the day. Not going to accumulate though. Temperatures holding steady in the mid and upper 30s, feeling like the 20s. A few of those snow showers will be possible overnight and early tomorrow morning as temperatures drop into the 20s. Wind chills tomorrow morning in the teens. And tomorrow afternoon, we may make it just above the freezing mark for highs. And look at all these lake effect snow showers developing during the afternoon hours before coming to an end tomorrow evening. So how does this impact your Monday morning commute? Well, today, as far as accumulations go, we're really not expecting anything. Now, by tomorrow morning, maybe a dusting on those grassy surfaces. By tomorrow afternoon, up to a half inch, maybe an inch in some locations. And it's primarily going to be on those grassy surfaces. Keep in mind, we were so warm last week that those road temperatures are likely too warm for accumulation. So this will, could impact your commute, your morning commute. We're thinking wet pavement, maybe a few slick spots on bridges, overpasses. Overall, this is going to be a very low impact event. For your evening commute, we're looking at some lake effect snow showers, Temperatures holding steady in the low and middle 30s. So Mother Nature a little bit confused because spring officially begins on Tuesday with temperatures around 48 degrees. And we'll take a look at this 10-day forecast coming up in 30 seconds. Don't be inconvenienced by a broken garage door this summer. Call Host Adler Askew Garage Door, a company you can trust to find the problem and fix any garage door on the spot. For a limited time, save $100 on any single door and save $200 on any double door. Host Adler Askew Door will save you time and money by repairing or replacing your existing garage door. If a new garage door and opener are what you need, our prices won't be beat. Call Host Adler Askew Door and save today. 
So a brief warm up on Tuesday as spring begins 48, but then we'll get another cool down with our next cold front. We drop into the lower 40s Wednesday and Thursday and another system. This one a bit more complex as we head into the weekend. Friday, we could see some rain and snow showers in the morning, some showers possible Saturday. We'll get a break on Sunday before another system brings the, back the chance for rain and temperatures rise back into the 50s by early next week. Felicia?